Local news leadership changes could happen again with JEA. Sources telling News for Jax that CEO of JEA, Jay Stowe, is expected to step down from his position leading the city owned utility. News for Jax reporter Ariel Schiller has been working to find out more and joins us live from the studio. Ariel? It's the latest chapter in the JEA saga. I spoke with City Councilman Rory Diamond about the next steps. What, what are your reactions to hearing this news? Uh, well, I certainly appreciate Jay So having jumped in and led JA during a really difficult time, but uh, I'm not surprised that he's stepping down now. We're having some challenges with JA being responsive to the community and what we need, and I uh, look forward to getting a new CEO in there soon. We learned JEA CEO Jay Stowe is expected to resign from four different sources Thursday afternoon. There was speculation Stowe could resign from his role as CEO after the last board meeting where Chairman Bobby Stein was raising lots of questions about his performance. He had been under public pressure after News for Jack's reporting found that four executives didn't live in Jacksonville. Laura Dutton lived and worked remotely in Tennessee. She was released from her position as chief strategy officer shortly after she got a $73,000 raise, and the reports of her living situation emerged. Councilman Diamond says JEA executives need to live in Jacksonville. It's absolutely insane that we had so many key executives living in Tennessee, New Jersey, South Florida. I mean, Jacksonville is a beautiful place to live. We should have executives, especially key executives who live here, who are excited to live here. Karen McAllister, spokesperson for JEA, gave us this statement on Stowe's expected resignation. It says, quote, we do not have any information we can share at this time. Jay Stowe is in a series of national security focused meetings in Washington, D.C. through Friday. So he is not available. We will have more information at a board meeting on Monday, April 15th. While the future of the CEO role is uncertain, Councilman Diamond says when the time comes to find a new CEO, the utilities board will evaluate the best candidates. We need somebody who knows the organization, who's hopefully worked there a long time, knows both the water side, knows the electric side, and that's the hope, but it'll be driven by the board. I did reach out to Mayor Donna Deegan's office and I'm waiting for a statement about Stowe's expected resignation. The board meeting on Monday is where more information may come out. Reporting live from the studio, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ariel, thank you.